I'm here just across the street from Dripped and Drape. Soon it will no longer be here, but the owners tell me it's not the end. Tonight they held an event, which they say is the start of their new chapter. And it hasn't been long since Dripped and Drape closed in Benson. But the owners are looking to the future. The business, known for its pink building and colored lattes, opened March 13th of 2020, the day before the pandemic state of emergency. Just opening a business is a rough roller coaster ride. And when we got hit with that, we were like, skirt! Ah! <laughs> What are we supposed to do? Because no one could help that. The sisters say the Black Lives Matter movement brought in a lot of business. They thought it would help them survive, but it wasn't enough. Sales just still plummeted month to month and you know, it just, it got worse each month and finally my sister and I had to make the decision. Caldwell tells me they thought back to why they started the business in the first place women. Whether that be through the clothes that you wear and you can be sassy or just express yourself and fierce. Um, and then the drinks, we wanted that to empower the women too by just the health benefits and everything that come along with that. They started their next chapter Tuesday night with the event Life's a Drip. I knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I wanted that freedom. A conversation with women entrepreneurs. This is actually um, a transformation for us to see where this leads. We want to start doing workshops next and we want to start working really hands-on with the community and other women much like us. While this pink space will go away, both sisters own other businesses and they're committed to a bright future. Okay, let's fix our crowns. We got to get up and keep going. Now I asked the owners what the plans are for the coffee. They say it's not the end for that either. They have some announcements coming soon, so stay tuned. Reporting live in Benson, Abby Peterson, KETV News Watch 7.